Residential Youth Employment Stimulus Program is coming to an end. The Basic Education Department says it received 7 billion rand from the project to assist teachers and students while the country is battling COVID-19. This means there will now be gaps within classrooms and many young people will be unemployed. Sehra Jomahi is following the story for us. She joins us now live. So let's start with some of the main reasons this program was actually started. Well, Shahan, this particular program was actually started to really assist schools um, with basic things, especially with the reopening when schools opened um, for the academic year of 2021. So the education assistance and the general assistance that were actually within the particular um, schools, they helped teachers significantly with the amount of work that they needed to do. Um, the one school that we're at, Abram Thorpe Primary School in Gatlehong, they have got um, just about 30, over 30 um, education education and general assistance and they say that they have really assisted them in the sense of if a teacher cannot make it to class or if a teacher is in a meeting then they are able to continue with the learning for the day. The, 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 even the, um, the assistants are also saying that they have really benefited from this particular program themselves. So um, those, that was the main reason to train young people and um, to assist young people that are employed, unemployed rather, to actually get into the schooling environment and then get onto the, the, the actual system of the Department of Basic Education. But schools and principals um, that we have had a conversation with, including the principal from Abram Thorpe Primary School, she mentions that um, the assistants have really come in handy, that they've assisted them um, with things like being able to screen the learners as they walked into, the, into school. I and mean, also just really being in the classroom to ensure that each learner is working at the right pace and that no one is left behind. But let's just take a closer listen to what the principal had to say within this regard. God. It helps with, with, with teaching because they assist the teachers. When the teacher is in the classroom giving lessons, they monitor the, whether the children are, are, are doing, are following the instructions that the teacher has done. There are those who have the skills of computer skills. They assist some of the HOG with, with their typing of their activities. There's one. We allocated them according to what they applied for and what they are qualified for. We tried as much as we can. There's one who is in charge for printing of activities prior before the day when teachers come. The next day everything is quite ready and set up. So we're so excited and we are worried when their term is coming to an end, whether their contract is going to be increased or not. And others, they help us in the morning in terms of sanitization because we have two entrances. The other one is for the small one, great or R. So the others, we divided them into the great R. The other one, gate, is for the main gate. So that the influx of our learners by quarter to eight, we know that they are done, they are in class. And they, with the screening as well, the SIA screening, they assisted with the screening with the learners. They checked all the learners have been screened, especially grade R and grade 1. And with sanitizing, because some of the learners, we screen them. Most of our learners, we screen them twice a day. So they do assist us a lot with the screening. So we, we are worried as a school. My staff is worried as well. They are asking me, are these people going to go at the end? Are their contracts going to end or not? So hopefully... Maybe it will be extended. It will be a blessing for us. Mm. So what's the Department of Basic Education saying? Well, the department is satisfied with how the program actually rolled out. They were able to employ just over 300,000 young people and actually put them then on the database of the Department of Basic Education. They are also saying to us that um, the discussions are currently underway to see what the next plan will then be, because I did ask Shahan, I mean, what is then going to happen? We have now this issue of the gap that will need to be filled within schools, and of course then you've got the young people that will be sitting at home once again, but the department saying that they are currently in discussions to see how they can actually make this work or what the plan is going forward, especially with the, the potential gap that will be left in schools regarding the assistance that they had received from these general assistants and also from the education assistance. But this is what Elijah Mflanga from the department had to say. Well, discussions are currently underway um, to find a way uh, on what needs to happen next because it's been a valuable program. They have played a huge role in assisting and supporting schools to be able to operate uh, under these difficult COVID-19 circumstances. Principals, even including in the school where we are right now, 
in the free states, they are talking about the role that has been played by the GAs and EAs in ensuring that the school runs properly and uh, that everyone adheres to the health and safety protocol. So it's something that even the young people themselves are saying they would like to see continue. But of course, we will wait uh, to hear what Treasury and the presidency have to say to us if there is a, an announcement uh, of any type uh, we will make that available. But for now, uh, what we know is that the four-month program has come to an end. Any reaction quickly from teacher unions? Well, Shahan, I mean, they're really the big concerns really are, are around the issues of the gaps that um, these teacher union, these teacher assistants rather are going to actually leave within the education space and within the schools. And they are saying that this is something that they would have liked to see happen even before um, COVID-19. But now that it has happened, it's really a great progress for the Department of Basic Education and really for the country as a whole. But teacher unions start to really saying that they are hoping that these contracts will be renewed or that this program will be revived vitalized and that um, there are more teacher assistants and general assistants within the schooling environments. All right, we're going to leave it right there, reporter Sekhoa Jomarachi.